What is up? Joe Gilder here. I want to show you a... I was hesitant to show you this because it, it's easy to overdo. So you got to promise me. Seriously, hold your hand up. I promise I won't overdo this. Good. So this is... I'm, I'm just finished up a mix for a client uh, today. And uh, actually one of my VIP members. And it's kind of a western bluesy sort of uh kind of spoken word deal where he's kind of telling it's kind of a story song and he had a concern after my first mix that the bridge section sounded a lot like everything else and he wanted to do something different on the verses and he had this idea of doing a low fi vocal now remember you already promised not to overdo this so i don't want to propagate overdone things but it can be handy on occasion if you use it like garlic just a little bit. You go too far, you know you went too far. So anyway, so here's the here's the bridge section of the song, and here's the vocal as it sits without the stuff I did to it. We drove till the buildings turned to rocks and the rocks turned to sand. Okay, so as you can see, it's kind of a singy talky part. He's not singing necessarily. And this is how the entire song vocally sounds. Uh, there's a little more singing in the choruses, but these verses and bridges are a little sing-songy. Um, and so he wanted a kind of a lo-fi signal. So I reach for a couple of things that are typically my go-to when trying to do something kind of vibey on a vocal like this, where I'm trying to mess it up. First thing is this distortion. You can use any distortion. This is the one that comes with Studio One. And when I added that in, let me solo the vocal. Here's the clean vocal without all this on it. We drove till the buildings turned to rocks and the rocks turned to sand. I don't know where they were driving, but it's scary. Uh, and then here it is with some distortion added in. Now you'll notice I left the low end in and rolled off some of the highs. We drove till the buildings turned to rocks and the rock. Okay, getting a little gritty. Um, it's got a little bit of that drive to it. This can be kind of cool. You hear it a lot, especially in kind of more indie rock stuff. They'll sometimes blend in distortion on top of the lead, but we're just going all in, 100% mix wet of just distortion. So that leaving the low frequencies in allows it to distort in a way that I like, but then it makes it too muddy. So the next thing I added was an EQ, rolling off more lows, some mid-range that was sticking out, and some of the highs. We drove till the buildings turned to rock. So this is what's giving it more the lo-fi sound that Michael wanted. Here it is with just EQ. We drove till the buildings turned to rock. So you could roll off more frequencies. We drove till the building. That just doesn't it's just not quite what you what you're expecting. You tend to think roll off the lows and the highs and it'll sound cool. Maybe roll off more lows. We drove till the building. But that just becomes like a telephone instead of like a something more usable. We drove till the buildings turned to rock. Okay, so just the EQ is not gonna get this done. The distortion before the EQ is really what makes it sound a little more lo-fi and dirty. We drove till the buildings turned to rock. That zzz, buzzy sound that's coming through. And so then I'm listening to that, I'm thinking that sounds pretty good. We drove till the buildings turned to rocks and the rocks turned to sand. But it's still a little exposed. So I said, aha, I know what I'll do. I'll add in a slapback delay. So instead of using a send, I just slapped it right on the track as if I was putting a delay in line on a guitar pedal board and set it up real quickly, 120 beats or 120 milliseconds, no feedback, roll off some of the lows and the highs and the mix set to around 30%. And that left me with this. We drove till the buildings turned to rocks and the rocks turned to sand. Fun hint, anytime you add slapback delay to something, it gives it a old school kind of vibe to it, which is nice. So that in the mix is working very nice. We drove till the buildings turned to rocks and the rocks turned to sand. So then for the second half of the phrase, I added in a send to an existing eighth note delay that I have set up and I automated to just have it come on for the last word, which ended the bridge section, which I thought was quite clever. I know I'm kind of full of myself today, sorry. Here we go. So we've heard the first phrase, here's the second phrase. Now we're back into the full range vocal, which is what we've been hearing for the rest of the song. So it's kind of neat to add that delay at the end. It kind of signals, hey, we're done being silly with the vocals. And that's set to repeat on eighth notes. So there you go. That's a fun trick. Again, please don't overdo it and don't start your song with lo-fi vocals. It's been done a bajillion times. 
you're going to do it, do it in a different section of the song and keep it at a minimum. Don't do it on every song on your album. Maybe you're allowed to do it once every three albums. How about that? That way we keep it moderate. <laughs> All right. Hope that was helpful for you. If you have questions or comments or a better way that you like to do what I just did, leave a comment below. Let me know. See you.